Hi, welcome back to Neighborhood Garage. My name is Mike Higby. I'm Mike Lover. Today we're really excited. Jamie Johnson from Rusty Rods invited us to his personal shop to allow us to see his next build. Jamie, come in here and tell us about this old tow rig you're building. Uh, I built a 1955 Peterbilt tow rig. It's a needle nose I found in a salvage yard in uh, Joplin, Missouri. A combine salvage yard of all things. All right. right. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So, uh, you want to walk around this thing, or? Yeah, let's check this thing out. So what's your plan for this thing? Well, actually all I'm building is a one-ton, basically, truck that I can use for my business and, and also for fun, to go to car shows and pull my horse trailer, pull my car trailers and stuff. And uh, so it's basically all it is, is just a one-ton truck. And uh, I used a C30 stub from a 95 Chevy school bus, actually. Uh, we custom bid the uh, frame rails or two by six rectangle tubing, and it's got Ride Tech suspension. We're doing 24 5 semi wheels that are milled down to 24s. So, when you say Ride Tech, you're talking about this thing's on airbags. It's on airbags. Clear. On the ground. Slammed. Right. Slammed. The only way to have it. Slammed. That's cool. Uh, to make this, a lot of people ask me how do you uh, bolt a 24 five semi wheel to a one ton Chevy step. I mean, basically is it's got an adapter that has an eight lug pattern that brings it on up to a 10 bolt truck pattern. Correct. Sweet. And uh, it looks really nice on there. Well, thank you. And some plans, I've got a Metler Brothers bead roller that I've purchased and all the sheet metal on the hood. I'm, I plan on trying to do a lot of sheet metal work on this. You know, some bead rolling and, and stuff like that. So when I, uh, you know, it looks more custom, looks, one off. I, I'm in a one off step. I like something that no one else has. Absolutely. So, is this going to be exposed where you can see the engine? No, or absolutely is it not. going to be all It's all going to be, it's gonna be, all, it's gonna be enclosed. Uh, actually, the fender, I bought some fiberglass fenders for this truck. I'm not real happy with them. Uh, I'm going to try my best, uh, my hand at some stuff I haven't done. I have not done a bead roller work yet. I plan on doing some experimenting with that. I'm going to try to skeleton this fender out with some round bar and then start sheeting it and then we'll see how that comes along if that works out for me. Well based on what I've seen here today, I mean he is doing a fine job on this thing. Yeah. So the motor I plan on using in this truck is a 5.9 Cummins. It's going to have a 5 speed behind that with a 3 speed auxiliary backup behind that. So it's called a twin stick is what the truckers call it. And uh, as you can kind of move on back here, I mean, I plan on doing custom stacks. I, I've kind of just used these stacks for mock-ups. Uh, I'm actually going to do a 7-inch stack. Right on. It's going to have a 5-inch insert in it. And then the top, the foot and half, so it's going to look like a machine gun. I'm going to do the holes with the kind of center protruding out the top of the machine guns. Right on. And everything. Is it going to rain soot, I hope? What's that? It's is it going to blow smoke. Oh, that's what I'm talking smoke. about. That's my plan. Well, I hope you know some guys that can do that. But anyway. Yes. So, so, so tell, well, tell us about the frame here. I mean, is this been laser cut or, I mean. Yeah. Actually, what it is, a 2 by 6 rectangle tubing. I, I went to D&D Fab and he uh, water jetted me so what I call a bridge for the bottom. It's out a quarter inch. And we did three inch holes with a three quarter inch hole. My plan is to do lights in every of uh, the small three-quarter inch holes. Wow. No uh, way. It'll, it'll light up down the road. Uh, I went to uh, Ma, uh, what do you call it, uh, Mafia place in Seattle, it's Joplin. Uh, four states, that's it. And I bought dual uh, tanks here. It will have dual tanks. Uh, these are 36 gallon tanks. There'll be two of them on each side. It's gonna have a 36 inch sleeper. That is period, period correct for this year truck. So a sleeper for two or? Just, it's a single sleeper, flat top. It'll be about the same height as the truck is, and it'll be 36 inches deep. And of course, it'll be all cut out in the back and everything for you know, so access to it. Well, bring us back here this rear suspension. I mean, this looks killer, man. All here. right, well, thanks, sir. This is a Ritech suspension, a four bar kit that uh, I got from Ritech. Uh, we also continued the water jetting back here for the step up, and we had three inch holes. I'm gonna do pipe inserts and everything just to kind of give it a custom look. Some of the old hot rodder guys did this back in the day. You know, when you see a lot of the Model A's and stuff, they would have the tubes cut through the frame. Would you call this a four link kind of setup? This is a four link with a pan hard bar style. Okay. And, uh, and uh, what rear end you got here? It's just a one ton Chevy, 85 Chevy. 
uh, cabin chassis. The cabin chassis is a little narrower than the uh, standard truck, so that way it needs to wide going down the road. Uh, it's going to have a fifth wheel plate here, gooseneck. Actually, what my plan is, is I'm planning on doing a gooseneck ball, and then I'm going to kind of make a fake fifth wheel that has a cover on it. That way, when it's going down the road, it actually looks like a semi truck, people, mm -hmm. but then I can pull the cover off, flip the ball up upside down. Sweet. And it'll have the, the plate there, or the gooseneck ball, I should say. Man, right this on. Thing, this thing looks killer. Yeah. Also, uh, I mean, as far as the inside of the truck, my plan is. I mean, this is kind of how I found it in the salvage yard. It's kind of crude right now. I plan on doing all bead road sheet metal on the on the interior, and I'm pretty excited about using the bead roller. I haven't got a chance to really play with it a lot, so it's going to test my skills as far as how much I can do. We're going to do Dakota digital gauges in this truck. Uh, it's going to have a uh, I did it steering column. We're doing all under the floor pedals on this truck, so it looks more period correct. Sweet. Everything. Uh, like I said, the uh, main thing, I just try to do something that's different. I mean, I hate going to car shows. You mail different, let me tell you. Oh, well, I appreciate it. Like I said, when you go to car shows, if you're not different, nobody is going to stop and look at it. And I like to be different when you're, you know, in the business I'm in, if you're not different, you're not going to draw any more attention to you. Right. 10 4. I agree. Well, hey, you guys seeing here first today, like us on Facebook, check us out on Instagram, and we'll come back and we'll see Jamie and uh, see how this thing finishes up. See you next time on Neighborhood Garage. See ya.